Welcome back. I'm Olivia Livia's Romantic Com, and in today's video, I am so excited to share with you guys my spring, summer garden plant haul and some other goodies that I picked up that we can DIY with if you guys aren't into planting real plants. I've got all the bases covered for you. I also want to share with you guys my spring, summer cup sheet collection, the top picks that I found on the cup sheet website, starting out with this super adorable little um, pinstriped maxi dress. Oh my goodness, and I actually have this paired with some cute little tennis shoes, but it is so absolutely comfortable. It's lightweight and breathable, and I've been sharing with you guys how I get super hot. So this, look at how cute the back is, and it has like a little adjustable shoulder strap, so you can let it in or out. I am in a medium, and there's definitely plenty of room. It has just like a little bit of an elastic right here, so if you need a little bit more room in the bust area, there's definitely Definitely some give there and um, I love these super adorable little buttons down the front and I love the pinstripe on it because stripes going this direction are elongating I feel like it's super flattering and I have this paired also with my cute little garden hat I think it would be super adorable with some sunglasses on the beach and also you guys are gonna have to check out these earrings from cup sheet these are definitely my new favorites you guys know I love pearl but look at how cute this is it's kind of like an elegant drop pearl and they're super comfortable even though they're a little bit of a larger earring I think they can go casual and I think they can also get dressed up so let me share with you guys some more items that I chose for my spring summer collection from cup sheet my next spring summer favorite pick is this red ditzy v-neck flutter sleeve romper it is so super adorable and let me tell you it is a go-to for comfort and style together. I wore it on a girl's day shopping trip from the morning all the way into the evening and out to dinner and it was breathable, lightweight. I just threw a sweater around my neck for when it got a little bit um, chilly but you guys are definitely gonna have to try this romper and I am in a size medium. Okay, and now let me my absolute favorite, a floral scallop v-neck lace little dress. This is going to be my summer go-to. I am going to use this at the beach. I'm going to use this out to dinner. It is so comfy. It's just like the shirt that I wore the heck out of last season. You guys grab one of these while they're still in stock. I absolutely love it. And I'm going to leave the links to all of the outfits down below. Okay, friends, if you need a good little backyard cookout romper, this super soft jersey knit striped romper, it has a v-neck and a little tie at the waist, this is where it's at. You could dress this up or down depending upon its shoes. Look how roomy it is. It has a little tie at the waist, and I'm telling you, you can cinch it in or out. Plenty of room for if you overindulge in the barbecue, and there is my little puppy dog, Benji Bear, but look at how roomy this is. And then plenty of room if you need to cinch it up and then just kind of, you know, make it look a little bit more elegant. And you can even kind of ruche and um, accentuate your waistline. But listen, throw a little jean jacket on over it. I'm pairing it, pairing it with the little drop pearl earrings. And you guys are set to go for summer. Love this one. Speaking of love, can we please talk about this absolutely adorable faux leather Argyle boy bow bag? Oh my goodness, this reminds me of a faux Birkin. Yes, the $20,000 bags, but it's on cup sheet, I'm guessing for under $30 because pretty much everything you guys are gonna see is $30 and under with cup sheet. And I'm also gonna leave some stunning coupon codes for you guys. Put your order in, you guys don't wanna miss out. And this next outfit I'm showing you is this beautiful blue little flutter sleeve romper. I'm absolutely in love with rompers this season. I don't know what it is, but listen, I need to stay cool. We've already talked about this, that time of life, but not only that, they're flirty. They can be dressed up or down, which I love. I am such a busy mama on the go. I have multiple events in one day going from, you know, <laughs> there's Benji Bear, my puppy dog, but you know, going from dressed up to dressed down. I'm usually throwing a pair of tennis shoes or heels in my car, depending upon what I've got going on for the day. And these rompers are where it's at. I feel so classy, so elegant, and I'm crushing on this new bag that they sent me. So you guys grab one of these as well. 
well. And <laughs> check out the bear. He's barking at his little girlfriend in the backyard. So for all of you casual but love to be cute girlies, you have to grab one of these Heather Gray cut out tees. Let me tell you, these are super flattering and they have this cute little cutout at the top. So it looks a little bit more dressy than just a basic tee. I'm pairing it with these white elastic straight leg shorts. I will tell you the white is not a bright white. It's more of an off white and the elastic has a lot of room to give. I could have even sized down. Everything that I share in this video, you guys are going to see is a size medium, just for a reference point. And I am 5'8", so I'm a little bit taller. Things do look a little bit shorter on me, but if you're modest and or you just like a longer length short, this is definitely a nice go-to. It would be super adorable, dressed up or down. You guys can see I'm sharing with you guys casual. You could tuck in or out. I love the button detail, great length. And let me tell you, at this stage in the game, I love to be super cute, super casual, but but also comfy. My next go-to dress for the season is gonna be the Cupshe Genie Striped A-Line Cami Dress. You guys, this dress is absolutely amazing. I wore it for Easter Sunday. It looked absolutely fabulous in my Easter pictures. I hosted brunch, I went to church, I served in the kids area. It's long, it can be dressed up or down. You could wear little cute white tennis shoes or you could wear some fancy heels, a go-to for sure. Next, I wanna share with you guys this white scooped elegant um, eyelet tank top. Look at these beautiful sleeves. Oh my goodness. Now let me tell you, this is going to be very forgiving in the top, but you could also give it a little tuck like I'm sharing with you guys with my jeans and add a cute belt and class it up. Another go-to in my spring summer must-have cup she collection. Okay, you guys, I popped in to Walmart and I grabbed one of these super adorable petunia baskets. This one was $15.88. This is a wonderful, nice, good size. I expect these petunias to um, sprawl out and get really um, beautiful. And I will tell you, so I am in the southern Midwest and petunias do so, so good on my front porch. In the hot sun, we get some brutal hot sun and these can take a beating for sure. And you guys, know that I did a Barbie um, backyard patio dream makeover last year. So these may be going in my backyard. I'm going to have to see what I think about them. And I need you guys' help. Should I repot them or should I drop these down into a different planter? I do get quite a bit of wind up here where I'm at. So let me know what you guys think about that. And with the petunias, this is a full sun, six plus hours and you do need to water your petunias daily. Sorry if there's any background noise. I'm filming this on my front porch, so there's regular activities going on, like the mailman just came by, and then my neighbor is working on their backyard. But anyway, I bought two of these beautiful petunia baskets. Super excited because I really didn't put out any annuals last year. I have the best of luck with petunias, so these are definitely a go-to for me. <laughs> the next garden floral that I picked up um, for my flower garden garden is um, these beautiful flocks. These are a beautiful purple color and it did say that these are a full sun plant. I love how they're cascading over. The place that I want to put these are in my, I was next to my front porch and I want them to kind of cascade down. Now this is a wild card for me. I have not tried the flocks, but what I've been doing lately is I've been going around to some of the garden places that always keep flowers out and I've been studying to see what in my area what they're keeping out that is surviving because you know every area has its different quirks and for us here in southern um the southern midwest we do get a lot of heat and we get just a lot of um you know we can get a lot of wind we can get a lot of heat uh, we can get a lot of rain i'm expecting rain coming up in this next month so i've noticed that a lot of um you know resorts and different places like that are putting out flocks so I'm going to give it a go for flocks. Let me know if you guys have any tips or tricks. And this is called, this is spelled P-H-I-L-O-X. This is from Walmart. That's how you say the flocks or spell the flocks. And it was $8 for this larger container. Um, so wish me luck on my new excitement over the flocks. But I want to go for like an English country garden style. So I think that this is just perfect. <laughs> okay, the next garden plant that I picked up, and I keep saying garden, and I mean flower garden. I'm not planting any, um, you know, garden plants. Although I do kind of want to do a 
raised bed in my backyard and pop in some herbs and tomatoes and whatnot. But on to what I'm doing in my front yard, my front porch, I have a pretty little planter and I have had the best of luck with hostas. This was $8.47. Now a hosta is a perennial. The last two flowers that I showed you guys or plants was a petunia and a phlox. And I believe those are both annuals, although I need to look up phlox. I'm pretty sure it's an annual. Um, but a, um, a hosta is a perennial and perennial means that it's going to come back every year. And I already have several hosta perennials that are doing really good in my front yard. Um, they're super hardy. You know, they can take some abuse, which I try to do my best with my plants, but you know, when I go on vacation or if I get tired in the summer and forget to water something, I have to be really careful because some of my plants will get neglected. I'm gonna try really, really hard this year though to not neglect anything. Um, the petunias, the ones that I showed at the beginning, were probably the ones that always have to be watered every single day or they'll get super droopy. Um, but this hosta is beautiful and this again is from Walmart and I picked up two of these. I thought they looked super healthy and hostas are going to be a shade loving plant. So part sun four to six hours. It does say to water daily. So good to know on that. And also with my gardening or my plant, my flower gardening, um, I do try to use some miracle Grow, some plant food on them. I feel like that that just helps give them a little extra nourishment. Okay, the next plant beauty is this beautiful fern and this was $14.88. I just grabbed two of these at Walmart. These are annuals and this is a Boston fern. And I have the best of luck with these ferns when I put them on my front porch. In fact, I think I'm gonna change these out and go ahead and pop these ferns in. I feel like this is so wonderful. Again, I'm Southern Midwest and I am on a covered porch, so this porch does not get any hot hot sun it will get a little bit of sun late afternoon um but it should be fine to have those boston ferns out and you see me looking up i'm looking to see if i have any hooks i have one hook where i could you know hang a fern but i think that these ferns will do just fine on either side of my door for some greenery you guys saw me put these out and these were just little um topiaries that i had painted from hobby lobby I did get some new paint, which we're going to move on to some of my faux gardening stuff. And I'm going to share with you guys the paint colors that I chose, which I'm super excited about. Before I share with you our faux gardening things, I have to share with you guys these super adorable Pioneer Woman gardening gloves. Okay, I'm really excited about these. You guys know how I love my fake nails. Okay, these feel really, really nice quality. They're from Pioneer Woman at Walmart. I think they have a really cute little print and um, they feel super comfy. They feel very durable. It seems like there's kind of like a leather part right here. And then this around here is really soft and they just have a nice adjustable thing here. There's elastic through here. Um, I didn't notice if these were different sizes. Um, it just says gardening gloves. Oh, these are small. So I guess I lucked out. I do have pretty small hands. So we'll go ahead and try the other one on. I'm super excited to do some gardening. Yeah, so there we go with our gardening gloves. And again, these are small and from the Pioneer Woman collection at Walmart. Love them. I love Pioneer Woman stuff. You guys know I'm hooked on those goodies. Okay, now on to our fake gardening. These were 99 cents at Walmart and these are called Myostosis Pick this little pink one. Now I thought they were super cute and really a great deal for 99 cents. They look pretty real. And the only thing about them, they did have a little bit of a fallout with the white flowers. I did get seven bundles of these. So I just thought these were so pretty. And you guys know that I am no stranger to fake gardening. I don't have any um, shame in my fake gardening game. So you can easily pop these into some planters, put them on your front porch, and you don't ever have to worry about them dying or watering them, which is lovely. Um, these didn't have any tags on them. So let me know what these are, but I thought they were really pretty and I love this yellow. I think it just adds that pretty little pop of brightness and summer goodness. And I thought these would be so cute. I already have an idea for how I want to use them. I'm gonna share DIY with you guys later in this week on these, or if I can get to that today, I'm gonna try to pop in some DIYs today. Um, but the eclipse is coming up pretty soon in about the next 30 minutes. So I wanna be inside. I wanna make sure Benji Berry 
safe inside. My daughter had called from school and said, hey mom, make sure Bendy Bear is inside during the eclipse. It can really damage a dog's eyes if they're out in it. So anyway, pretty little faux gardening goodies. And again, these were 99 cents at Walmart and they had all different colors. They had all different kinds. If I'm in Walmart again um, next week, I'll do like a little pan around and share with you guys, but they had purple flowers. They just had all different kinds. And I thought they were for 99 cents. It wasn't a bad deal. You could even make like a little, um, I was just thinking like a little wild garden bouquet. Wouldn't that be pretty for if you were doing like a wild garden um, bridal bouquet or for your bridesmaids? Just thinking, wouldn't it be kind of pretty? Wrap some flower or some um, satin ribbon around it and you could just have a beautiful garden bouquet. <laughs> Another thing I found at Walmart in their crafting section was this flora foam. It was actually super inexpensive. I think it maybe was a dollar, a dollar fifty. I grabbed two of these squares and I'm also going to try their floral foam um, moss collection. It says moisture retaining, soft, plump, and pliable. So I'm going to try one of these and see how it goes. Let's see, this is sheet moss, preserved sheet moss. So Anyway, we'll see how this goes. Or maybe it's Sweet Moss. No, it says Sheet Moss. Moss Collection, Sweet Moss. So, she, Sweet Moss. I think it's Sweet Moss. Anyway, what do you guys think? I think it'll be really nice. So, there's those. The next thing I want to share with you guys is my favorite paint from Walmart. And this is the 2X. It has paint and primer in it. I painted all of my pale pink Barbie furniture last year with this candy pink. And this is such a pretty color. And I also used this uh, berry pink. Um, both of these are really kind of that pretty little Barbie pink if you guys like the cottage decor. I'm also gonna try out this lemongrass. And I grabbed a purple, this is a dreamy lavender. Um, you guys can tell I'm really getting all the co cottage colors together and this modern mint. So I just want to pair some of these. I also got a white, um, but look at how pretty all of these colors are together. Let's see if I can hold all of them together. Look at how pretty all of these are together. I think the only color I guess I missed was blue. <laughs> so anyway, this is my gonna be my palette for my outdoor spring summer garden for 2024. And last but not least, I have to share with you guys this pretty little picture that I picked up at um, a vintage market in our local area. I just thought it was so beautiful. I think it was about $8. I do need to be bleach the back of it because it looks like it has seen better days, but I thought this would be so pretty. You guys know I'm kind of going for like a shabby chic cottage garden feel for this coming season. So anyway, I'm going to try to pop out now and plant a couple of my flowers in my front planter. And then um, in the next video, we'll do some DIYs just for some fun faux gardening and redoing some of my plants and planters. Um, now let's go ahead and refresh my front porch. So on either side of my door, I always love to have some type of plant or goodie. These were my little spring Easter planters that I put out. Um, and I had weights down inside of them. I just needed to tip a little bit of water that had gathered in there. They do have holes in them. And then I'm just using these Dollar Tree chargers to pop down inside of my planter. Believe it or not, they fit perfectly. And that elevates the planter because they're a little bit deep. And so things tend to kind of just fall down into there. So I'm also putting weights and a rock down inside of there because we get so much wind on my front porch. I live up on top of a hill and so it drives me crazy when my planters blow away. Then I'm gonna go ahead and just gently water my ferns just a little bit. Ferns love to get water on the edges of their fronds. Um, and then I'm gonna leave them be for just a little bit. Um, I didn't water a whole lot inside of them, but I did just give them a little bit you know, um, on the ends of their fronds. And this is a covered front porch. Next over here in this planter, I'm going to plant my sweet little hostas. I have so much luck with hostas. Um, it just must be the right climate for it. And I'm just going to add two to this planter because I do want to give them some space. But let me know if you guys have any shade selections of a pretty little plant that I could kind of pop in and around my hosta to where they wouldn't be too overcrowded but that it would be a little bit more full inside of here. So 
I do like the way that this looks, but it does look to me a little bit sparse. I could also use my faux gardening technique and maybe put some greenery in and around the hostas. <laughs> I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. And then I did go ahead and give my hostas some water. I think it's good to just go ahead and water all your plants as you plant them. Next, moving on to my front planter where I'm going to put these flocks. As you can see the difference between my front and my back planter, the back planter really doesn't get very much sun at all. A little bit in the evening, but my front planter is definitely the star of the show. That's where I'm going to try out these flocks. They're my wild card of my gardening this year for these little planter beds. If I fail at keeping these alive, I am going to simply take them out and pop a wave petunia in. I always have such good luck with my wave petunias. Um, but I added two flocks in to this little gardening bed. I love this little antique girl. I have had her forever. She gathers like a little bit of water when it rains and the birds like to just pop on to sit there. I'm debating on whether or not I should put a bird feeder up. I always feel slightly guilty about putting a bird feeder up because I have a cat. <laughs> My cat Tinky Bear, she is an indoor outdoor kitty. And she loves to sit and watch the birds and she catches birds and rabbits and oh goodness. So what do you guys think? Do you think I should have a bird feeder? Even if I have a cat, let me know what your thoughts are. If that's a good thing or a bad thing. Um, I do love watching the birds though. And I get more than just birds. I also get squirrels on my bird feeders, which doesn't really bother me. Um, we have some hardy birds. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of water to my flocks, just because I feel like when you plant a plant, it can kind of go into a little bit of shock and need some extra water. Now here's kind of a little faux gardening hack. Although this isn't a fake petunia, but I am moving my rocks aside and I'm just gonna add in my little planted petunias. <laughs> it's kind of corny, I know, but you guys, as I've gotten older and I have never been able to dig down into these flower beds because we, my house is built on um, limestone rock. And so we don't have hardly anywhere that we can like dig down and really plant plants very heartily. And this bed is definitely one of the ones I just can't put plants into. So let me know how you guys would landscape this. And what do you think about my ferns on either side of here? I feel like I should do a new garland over my door um, because the other one seemed a little bit still too eastery. Um, so I'm going to take that one down, change that out in a different video. But I hope you guys enjoyed my little gardening and we're going to do some more fun decor ideas and DIYs in the next videos. I hope you guys enjoyed the solar eclipse and stay safe. There's my puppy dog, Benji Bear. He had to stay inside during the solar eclipse per my daughter's instructions. Um, and then here's how my little petunias and flocks and hostas ended up looking. This is the first year I've done annuals in a couple of years. I don't really remember doing them last year. So I'm trying to get back into my gardening and it felt really, really good. So thank you guys for your love and continued support. And I just really appreciate all of your kind comments. I am going to be hosting a new giveaway coming up. So look for that. And congratulations to my giveaway winner. I'll be shipping out your gift card very soon. And here is Benji Bear. He is snug as a bug in my lap waiting for me to take him on his afternoon walk. I'm finishing up the edit on this video and then we are off to go. So we love you and roof roof and meow meow to all our kitty cat and puppy dog fans out there. Big hugs and snuggles and cuddles. And we're so thankful thankful for you guys. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys are getting excited about this spring summer season, doing some real gardening or some faux gardening. I'm gonna have something for everyone in my upcoming videos. I'm super excited about this coming season. And I also wanna give a huge thank you to Cup She for sponsoring today's video. Um, I love getting new outfits for every season. You guys know I'm a seasonal decor enthusiast, so you can look forward to pretty much every season. Hopefully I'll be able to continue to collaborate with Kepshi. Their prices are so, so inexpensive. They have little great outfits. Um, I love this one. It's so roomy. Again, there is elastic here on this, this pinstripe smock maxi. I'm gonna leave all the coupon codes and discounts and everything in the description box and I'll link 
link every single item for you guys. Um, so you guys don't have to be wondering, well, how do I find this or how do I find that? And you guys know I love to share boutique gorgeous items on a budget, ideas on a budget, and these cup she items are definitely boutique gorgeous and they're so, so budget friendly. Um, do you remember to give them a little bit of shipping time as you guys order um and also just um i want to thank you guys for using my links and for sharing my videos and for liking and commenting it really truly means the world i hope everybody is having a safe and blessed day and as always i'm going to encourage you guys to be kind online and also um, no matter what you're going through to keep going because we're all going through something and you know all we can do is um, control our reactions to things and try to stay in the present moment sometimes it's easy to get bogged down by things that have happened in our past but that's not happening anymore today is today and we can't control the future and 85 percent of the things that we worry about actually don't or be never happen so Thank you guys for being here. I am Olivia with Olivia's Romantic Home. I would love to invite you all to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's totally free. Um, follow me on my Olivia's Romantic Home Facebook page where I share daily crafting inspiration with you guys. And I try to keep up with TikTok and Instagram, but I'm a one woman show and I love to um, spend time with my family and so all that kind of fun stuff. So I'm gonna hug all of your hearts so tight. I'm wishing you a gorgeous, fabulous, blessed day and I'll chill in the next video. Be kind to yourselves, be kind to one another. And we'll talk to you guys very soon. Bye. Ooh.